Well, Jeff, the plan to defund the LAUSD police force and use that money to fund programs to improve learning for black students taken up by the school board today. Both sides told the board how this proposed shift could affect students' lives. CBS 2's Rachel Kim has more. Almost eight months after the Los Angeles School Board voted to cut the Los Angeles School Police Department's budget by 35% last June as calls to defund law enforcement grew, they're deciding what that will mean today. During their virtual meeting, the board heard from both sides. We demand that the school board invest in black teachers, and the way to start that is to defund LASPD in full. My question to you is, who's going to take up the uh, role of school safety if you eliminate all of the uh, the security guards, your police force that uh, is there to protect the students. The school board will vote on whether to ban the use of pepper spray by officers on campus. 133 positions, including 70 sworn officers, could be eliminated from the school police department. Sworn officers from the LASPD would be replaced at secondary school sites by school climate coaches, community members who will help mentor students. A poll commissioned by the district found that a majority of students, parents, and district employees support the presence of school police on campuses. But the results also showed that only 35% of black students felt safe with officers on campus. The school board will decide on how to reinvest the $25 million in cuts to the police budget. Some student and community organizations want that money to go towards a bigger plan to support black students. It's called the Black Student Achievement Plan, a $36.5 million investment in things like school climate and wellness, social workers and counselors, and professional development. When it comes to curriculum and instruction, the plan would include diverse representation. It would address social justice, emphasize valuing math, and allocate individual school curriculum grants. Meantime, as to the question of whether there should be a police presence on campuses, the opinions are strong. If you have to call an outside police force, it takes time to get there, and they don't necessarily know the layout of your school. So it's beneficial to have somebody there that actually knows how things are. The same students who are dramatically overrepresented, not only in school police interactions, but by school disciplinary systems as well. This is why we call on the school board to adopt a motion that does not allow schools to opt in to having school police officers on campus. Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.